One last thing that we did go over in the office hours was the fact that you can update your summary to include formatted text like bolded items, um, linked text, or you can make sure that you have the image showing up properly in your summary. Uh, what happens by default here in the summary, if, it, if that field is left blank, the system is going to automatically take the first few lines of the body. So let's actually jump in so we can see this from the back end um, and see what those the summary versus the body field looks like. So go ahead and start a new draft or edit the existing draft of the content item. From there, we want to scroll down to the body. If you aren't already making use of the summary, it's going to just be a, a small link that says edit summary. By clicking that, you are opening up the summary field. It is um, obvious there that in the summary field, we don't have the WYSIWYG toolbar. So that tells us this is going to be a plain text um, field. If you do want to see changes to the formatting, you will need to use HTML tags. Um, you can make use of um, some pretty standard HTML tags um, if you have that knowledge. And I will link to um, a, a pretty good basic intro to HTML tags. But what you can also do is use um, the built-in pieces of your site to help you translate um, from WYSIWYG to HTML. But let's go ahead and go through that. So the before I continue, I want to open up the home page so that we can keep kind of jumping back and forth between these. So at the moment, this league article does not have a predefined summary where I have come in and and specified what it should be. So by default, when that is left blank, the system is going to use part of the full text, which is the body. I can see, rather than it being the visual uh, version where we see um, the image and the formatted items, when I click on disable rich text, I get to see the HTML side. Um, and this gives me an idea of the information that is getting pulled. Um, rather than seeing the entire image, which is actually from here to here, the system is usually pulling about three lines um, it, it is uh, dependent on the number of characters. So it's somewhere around three lines of this side of the HTML side. So if the image HTML is long, and it, it usually is, the effect ends up being a broken image on the, within the summary. So we can prevent that let me go ahead and, and jump back here. There's one of two ways that you can do this. Uh, we've already clicked disable rich text. We're, we're still looking at the HTML side. So if you want to include just the image, um, you would go from brackets to brackets. And then going further than that, um, you would have to uh, recognize the pauses in your text if you wanted to include more than that. Um, usually the natural stops are going to be the slash P's. Um, anything that starts with H2 or H3, H4, those are heading styles. Um, all of these basic HTML tags will be included in the uh, resource that I'll have linked in our office hours wrap up. But let's say this is a little bit uh, too much. The body is gonna going to contain most likely all that is on 
your page. So if you only wanted to display the image and that first, um, the first few lines, then what I would suggest, rather than um, using the body and using disable rich text, what we can do is copy, highlight and copy the portion you'd like to see in the summary. And we're going to use one of these boxes. We're just going to use this temporarily um, just to convert our WYSIWYG um, version to an HTML version. So add additional formatted text. If you add a third party embed code box, it's fine. Um, you just have to change the setting of this uh, box from full HTML to WYSIWYG. If you added an additional formatted text box, it would be set to WYSIWYG um, already. So using either one of those, now you can paste in either with your keyboard or right, by right clicking. Be sure not to paste as plain text. Paste that in because the Milo system should recognize it um, as being copied from a Milo location. So now we have this set to WYSIWYG and we can make additional changes to whatever we want. We can add more images, we could add um, formatting changes to the text, but this is the reason for wanting to make sure it's in WYSIWYG aside from the initial paste in of these items. It also allows us to add links as we need. So. I will add a link back to our homepage there and insert. And let's go ahead and edit some of this text to format it a bit. Okay, so as much as you add, um, you know, that will all be translated once we disable rich text. Either clicking disable rich text or swapping over to full HTML does the same thing to um, produce the HTML tags uh, instead of the visual formatting that we would see. So what we wanna do is either cut or copy. We're going to remove this one um, because it's, it's just going to add an extra line of space if we leave that there. So once that loads up, I can confirm the deletion or I'll just go ahead and save my changes down at the bottom. So with the HTML version of, of this copied with the additional formatting changes I made, I'm coming over to summary and this time it does not matter if I paste regularly or paste as plain text because it is the HTML version. What, what pasting as plain text means is that it will usually remove any formatting. Um, so if you've copied rather than the HTML version, but you've copied something from Word that has different formatting changes, you would want to post uh, or paste, excuse me, paste as plain text into uh, the Milo body when going from Word to Milo. But in this case, when we have the HTML tags there, it won't make a difference. So now we used the WYSIWYG editor to create this HTML version of what we'd like to see. So let's go ahead and save our changes. When it comes to making changes to the summary, um, it does need to be published in order to see that right away. I'll go ahead and save it as a draft to show off um, that that hasn't been changed yet. Let's just jump back to quickly publish that. I can either view the draft or on the moderate tab, I'll have the same button to apply the publishing. All right, let's jump back to the home page. And now there you go. So we've copied all of the formatting and the image properly so that um, we're no longer seeing anything broken and we are getting the link as we expected. 